Good morning. This is Frank with the Morning Quick Shot, brought to you by Trade Stuckers and Ninja Pro Traders. It's the 8th of April. It's about 7.30 Central Standard Time. And it looks like we had an open of about 20, 34, 50, somewhere right in here. Kind of pulled back just a little bit, crossed through. These are yesterday's zones and a major DTC resistance area. Quit right through it. And we just kind of consolidated. And then looks like about 11 o'clock last night, we just kind of took off, reaching uh, one of our first zones today at 2046 area. And all the way for overnight high of 2049 and right about even there and then just kind of come back we kind of consolidate right across that area looks like the market may be trying to set up for a move to the upside this morning recover some of yesterday's uh, volatility drop looks like we might move up into the uh, 52 area we got some red DZ gonna be very tough to get through this area though so we got to be careful on this we may run right into this the open and then consolidate right back down into here. So it's going to be a fight to get right through there unless there's some really good news this morning. And I don't think there's any key key influence this morning. So just, just let me be cautious. You can see we're already getting a move here to move to the upside. So anyway, let's go somewhere here. If we can get up to this, look for take your targets off here. And then reset. Watch it pull back into this area. Probably back down into here. The 24 VWAP needs to catch up. Look for a bounce. And retrace and go right on up here to the next zone of 56, 58 area. And again, this this is gonna be another tough area. Might be some little, small consolidation in here, or just might be just a quick pullback. Be just be cautious. Take your profit up in this zone, and just leave short runners on, or just get out, wait for a pullback into this area, and then if the bulls are really gonna really step in, gonna go up and we're gonna fight this 62 zone. Now we know from history that this 62 zone is gonna be a tough one to get through today, guys. Unless, you know, the market just does its own thing as usual. <laughs> and after that, look for a bit of a pullback just, just to consolidate here for just a, a few points. And then all the way up to high of 66. Don't expect anything more than that today. We could go on up, up to 70 areas if it's just a really, really good run. No more than the 66 area. Now, if we look to the downside, if we come up here, this essentially double tops. Or even if we reach this zone, we could fail hard, come all the way back into this zone given that 24 hour VWAP time to catch up to it. And then eventually what we're gonna do is cross right back underneath it. We're gonna test this low right here at 43.50. And we're also gonna look at this 89 and this 24. We're looking for these crosses in here. If we can close below the 24 area here, this 24.43 area, then we can look for a short, look for it to come down through this area, a couple ticks or a couple points, and then right back up in to this red dash line at 43.75. Uh, possibly up into the 2475 and then look for the pull deck all the way back down into the 2038 where we found some good support yesterday and then down into the 2036 area now if we were if we're got any chance of uh, continuing this move to the upside we need to hold this 2036 area bounce off of here and then head right back up to test this zone at uh 204350 again look for a little bit of pullback as it tries to get through this area but this whole area between the 44 and 48 is going to be a tough consolidation area for today, I believe. And as we transition through that area, trying not to take any trades. But if we can get through that area again, then again, look back to the lock side. That's just planning for a lot of volatility in the market. Uh, who knows? The market has a mind of its own. Trade what you see. This is Frank. Have a good weekend.